Hello and welcome back to our part three of our Street Craps game. My name's Tom with Mastercode Online. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos. Keep me motivated. In the previous tutorial, we uh, went through and wrote some uh, code here. Um, it's very sloppy code, so in this tutorial, we're going to clean it up. Uh, I'm big on don't repeat yourself or dry, so let's go ahead and uh, start doing that. Uh, if you notice down here, we got print dice one rolled and then format it and we do that twice there's no need for that all right so let's go ahead and up inside our dice roll function we're going to go ahead and add um, this to that so how do we do that well we're going to go ahead and do dice underscore one underscore result is equal to a string and we're going to say dice one rolled a and then our uh, curly braces and then format and then we're just going to put dice one in here all right and we're going to do the same thing for dice two dice underscore two oops two underscore result is equal to dice two rolled a curly braces dot format and dice two. All right. So basically, now we are not repeating ourselves down here and down here. Um, how about we also get the sum? So, say so using sum this time, we're just going to use, um, let's just do total dice is equal to dice underscore one plus dice underscore two. All right. And uh, well, let's do it like a total dice roll result. So total dice result is equal to total of dice rolled. All right, uh, curly braces, and we'll format, and we'll use total dice. All right, cool. So we're making some lead way here. We're not we're not repeating ourselves or we're fixing our repeating ourselves. But how do we get this information here? Um, the best way to do this is to actually um, create like a context, if you will. So we're going to create a context, and what it's going to do is hold a dictionary, and this dictionary will allow us to call our inputs, um, our our data from our function down in here all right so let's go ahead and do uh, dice underscore one colon dice underscore one all right so here's the key here's the value all right so we'll do the same thing here we'll do dice underscore two dice underscore two and that should not be a colon that should be a comma and this should be a comma all right now let's do uh, dice underscore one uh, results and we'll do dice underscore one result and dice underscore two result dice underscore two result and total oops total dice oops and total dice and one last one is total dice result total dice result all right and then we're just going to return the context down here just like that and if we went to um call something for example we would just need to do a uh, roll uh, we did, we'll do roll is equal to, I'm just showing you here, this is not going to be where this stays. Uh, what's our function called? Dice roll. Dice roll, there you go. And just to call one of these contexts is we just do roll and then inside square brackets, we put the key. So dice one result like that, and that will return our result. So it makes life a lot easier, right? All right, so we'll get rid of that. And we're going to clean up the rest of this mess that we created in the previous tutorial. 
All right, so let's get into find another function. Um, let's do a define shooters bet. All right, and this is going to hold um, this function or this input, I should say. So we're going to bring it up here, put it in here, and we'll just go call this bet. We don't want to call it shooters bet because that's too close to the function name. So we'll call it bet and we're just going to return bet just like that all right um let's also do one for first move too so we'll define oops define uh first first move that's not how you saw first first move and we're going to take this line copy it or cut it put it in and we'll call this one I always call it users input users input and down here return users input all right um Let's see here. It'll just be cleaner if we just delete this and rewrite this one. All right, so let's go ahead and call shooters bet. All right, this one up here. So it's going to say the amount you like to bet. And we should have called it above numbers. Number of players. We'll put that down here. Make sure we're within pet B with two uh, space or skip two lines, and now we're going to use a while loop. So let's go ahead and set a variable to true. So the variable is going to be called run, and we're going to say while uh, run is true, we're going to run this. So we're going to say uh, let's go ahead and put first move in. So we'll do. Um, first is equal to first move all right so we're calling this function up here and then we're going to do if first is equal equal to shoot um, we're going to roll is equal to roll dice roll which is should say and then we're going to print roll uh we'll print Dice one result print roll dice two result Whoa. result just like that and then we'll go ahead and print uh, roll can't see my thing total dice all right. And then we're just going to break out of the loop at that point for now. So we'll just put break that break us out of the while out of the while loop, right? And let's do an elif uh, first is equal equal to change. All right. Um, then we're going to do shooters bet. We'll call that function, and then we'll do first is equal to first. All right. Uh, and the reason why I said first is equal to first is because we're going to reset this first up here uh, to the value it had beforehand so it will run again. Alright. And else, let's get print. This is just a failure message to the game. Uh, failed so if the user put in something other than shoot or change the game's gonna fail all right so we'll go ahead and run set run the false so it breaks the while loop and let's go ahead and run this and see how this works so Python main py what you like to bet 100 bucks how many players there's four of us 
Let's get it to shoot first. Uh, dice one rolled a two. Dice two rolled a one and three. All right, that works. So let's get it and run this one more time. Which we like better? A hundred. Four players. Let's get it and change. We would. What amount would you like to bet? 120. Shoot or bet. Let's get it and shoot. And dice one rolled six, and dice two rolled an eight. All right, that's it for today's tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll uh, go ahead and add some more functionality to our little program we got going here, our little game. Do not forget to like, do not forget to subscribe, and do not forget to share our videos. It keeps me motivated. I'll see you in the next tutorial.